Hello, everyone. Hello. Hopefully, we do not sound like we are in a fishbowl or under the sea. We're going to check. We know Instagram has been having moments today. Hold on. Let me see if I can hear you. Can oh, hear good. You. We sound yeah, like normal. Sound perfect, like, perfect. Yeah. So happy. Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm so glad that you are all back to join me today. We are doing swatching party number 12, and today we are focusing on Get a Grip, which is not a gel polish. However, it is a base coat that we love and use, and it comes in color. So I just wanted to swatch the colors for you so that you could see the different tones. And there are a lot of people who use these not only for their everyday base coat, but some people like to use them for their gel polish manicure color. We love get a grip clear and right now it is out of stock but don't worry it, it will cold. be in stock by thursday when the black friday sale starts get a grip clear will be back in stock so it everybody should be breathe. arriving everybody breathe. it should be arriving tomorrow and it's gonna be awesome i'm actually being joined tonight by sheridan hello everybody knows her from the warehouse Nails by Sheridan. Uh, Nails by Sheridan is an excellent, fantastic artist, and she is sharing a couple of tutorials over on her page. So if you get a moment, you can hop on over to her page. Why don't you give them your handle? It is Nails by Sheridan. It has an underscore at the end. Nails by Sheridan underscore. Uh, she did the Grinch. She did the Grinch. So cute. She, she did cute. a uh, sticker tutorial, yes. and you did that um, like peppermint swirl. Oh, yeah. Yep. So super cute. She's super talented. And I think this weekend she said she was going to show the Grinch fingers that are pinching and then the ornaments hanging. Oh, yes. That super cute. cute. Yep. Yeah. That, that's lots of fun. So Sheridan likes to share different tutorials and things like that. So make sure you go and check out her page. Thanks. You betcha. Okay. So we are going to be showing Get a Grip, Clear, Get a Grip Pink, Cloud, Cupid, Peach, Nudie, Nougat, Bellini, and last but not least is uh, Get a Grip Truffle. All of these can be purchased at MagpieBeautyUSA.com and or on the Magpie USA app, which if you don't have the app, I would suggest getting the app. Not only is the app easier to use, but it's faster because it doesn't use a website, so it's not loading web pages. Instead, it's just loading the pre-loaded pages of the app, so you can be in, out, add things to cart really fast, and because it is connected to the website, then both the website and the app talk to each other, which means that you can log in with your same login on both platforms, and then you can see all of your previous orders and everything like that. Love so the love the app for so many reasons. I'm going to move these off to the side, and while we are swatching these, we are going to talk to you about why Get a Grip, why we're swatching a base coat, why it's fantastic, and why you might be interested in using it on your clients. All right, pulled at random. First one is Get a Grip, Get a Grip Cupid. It's a adorable bubblegum pink. I think the colors look more pigmented when they're in the bottle. Oh, agreed. Once you cure, uh-huh, once you cure, especially base coat colors, they do tend to change. Now, Get a Grip does self-level. It's lovely that way. Like a dream. Mm-hmm. You have a couple of different options when using Get a Grip. So a little bit about Get a Grip, it is from Magpie. It is HEMA free, so you have to pay attention to your prep. You have to cleanse the nail thoroughly and dehydrate the nail. Magpie is based on a dehydrated nail, so you don't want to use a sticky primer with Magpie. You just want to dehydrate really, really well. You can use Magpie's primer if you choose. So you can put on a really thin layer like I just did and then cure it. And then go in with your builder layer, or what I like to do is the all-in-one method. I like to scrub in my base layer, then pick up a bead, and then see how I'm not near the epinichium? I did not put it at the back. So it's going to self-level, and then now I'm just kind of easing it forward. It's going to self-level wherever there is gel. So I want there to be the apex in the center. Then I flip my client's hand over and using my Magpie Detailer, then you can walk that gel, put the apex where it needs to be, get everything to self-level lovely, 
Make sure you use that line of light. Get a Grip is just such a gorgeous and easy to use base coat. So even again, on yep, even on a swatch stick. Look at that beautiful line of light. Absolutely stunning. Again, this is Get a Grip Cupid. You put that in the lamp for me. I sure will. Thank you. Here's this for you. Thank you. Caitlin Beckstead said it seriously is the best. Love, love, love it. Why do you like it, Caitlin? She says she uses it for everything. Yes. I do too. Yes, I do too. Okay, I have Get a Grip Peach. This one is probably the third most popular. Yeah. Which one's the most popular? Cupid? Pink. Pink, Pink is number Pink. one. Cupid's and then I would say Cupid. Good. And yeah. then I and would then say peach. peach. This one's really pretty. For those like warm tone. I like to use Get a Grip as a negative space. So you can just put it down. Oh, And that's then you a good can idea. do your nail art on top of it. So you don't have to go in with like the, your color that you choose. You can just do Get a Grip. So, so instead of using like... Forget me or not, yeah, or something so like that. Think of a, Even mm. Luxio blush, you would use instead this color. Yep. Yep. So I like to do the little TikTok method. I think it changes depending on the client. Um, but I like to just put a little dab down. It's hard to do on the swatch stick. Yes, it is because you don't have little, anything well, to. The, where's my? Uh, you you don't have anything holding my, your fulcrum finger. You don't have <laughs> anything like to apply here. <laughs> Uh, it's not just like swatching when you're doing a base coat. So now I've wiped off the whole side there, but it's still going to self-level. But the TikTok method is yes. very popular with this style of a base coat because it yep. self-levels so easily yep. and so nicely. So I'm going to flip it over now instead of adding more gel to it and just bring everything back into place. So many of our educators use the TikTok method. So many of nail techs so when we reshare all of their work. It's in that TikTok method too. I don't use the TikTok method. I can, my hand won't like, I can't keep it level. Butterfly your nail says, hello, beautiful peach. Hello. Face. It is very pretty. It is so pretty. Hi, Adalia, how are you? It is a gorgeous, gorgeous peach base. Very pretty. All right, next up we have Get a Grip in Cloud. This is going to be a semi-sheer white. It is not going to be fully opaque. Just like a cloud. Gorgeous. I like this one if you're doing a neon or even a yes. pastel. Putting a white base underneath will help you bring your colors up. One thing that I would like to note is that you can put a thin layer of Get a Grip Clear, like you would paint it on, like I just painted that on really thin. Give that a full cure because some people believe that that... Um, clear base adheres better. Mm -hmm. And then you could go in with any of these colors on top. I have not found that to be true. When I have used the colors, I have found that it has cured fine in the Magpie lamp, mm -hmm. but that is just an option. So again, I don't use the TikTok method. Instead, I put a bead at the back and then with a flat brush, I pull it forward and then I flip my hands, my client's hand over and I use my detailer brush to pull everything back into that apex area, just where I want it to be. Give it time to self-level. Beauty. So pretty. But you can see it's not fully white. Mm -mm. It it's is just semi-sheer. Semi Beautiful though. Pretty for winter nails too. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, with uh, what would be really nice is if you put on with arty gels, the magpie arty gels, you put on snowflakes. Oh yeah. And then mm -hmm. you could you could layer on even one more thin layer of this and then put more white arty gel snowflakes to give it that encapsulated look. Yeah. It would just be so wintry and pretty and beautiful. In that goes please. You could also use the stickers too. Yep. Definitely There's use the, the stickers. Magpie stickers. What number is the snowflake stickers? 140. 140. All right. Get a grip. Bellini is next in this one. Butterfly Hill says, good. I'm just getting home from the salon. Oh, what a long day. I hope that you've had a lovely day. All right. Bellini is a little bit more peachy tone, mm -hmm. orangey tone. Yep. But it's great for, I think the nice thing with the get a grip colors is it can go with so many skin tones. Yes. 
If you have darker skin tones, mm -hmm. this is going to be a gorgeous color on them. Yep. Absolutely beautiful. Um, you are saying to put that cloud behind all of your pastels. You can also put something like this behind Coco Cabana. Oh yeah, and it'll make it and brighter. And it's gonna huh? make it brighter, yep. Because it does have that orange undertone, which is gonna help ease the pain of pastels. Pastels are hard to paint, so. Yeah, it'll make it less streaky. Mm-hmm. I'm reminded doing this on <laughs> swatch sticks of the class that I took from you. Mm-hmm when we were learning about luminary. Oh yeah. And all of the different ways to- To apply. To apply. Oh. I'm trying to think of all of those right now. Like, <laughs> how else can I apply this? There's the TikTok, there's the- The Mohawk, there's oh, the bead. Oh, you should do the- mm -hmm. The Mohawk. You should do the Mohawk. I'll show the, mo the Mohawk next. Beautiful Bellini. So next is Nougat. I really love this color. It is a pale peach. Definitely more peach than peach, but not as orange as Bellini. It's actually just a really beautiful tone of peach. And I have a rogue, <laughs> look at that, rogue <laughs> bristle. I'm going to work with it. Don't worry. I'll make it work. All right. So I'm going to apply my thin, this would be the Mohawk method. So I'm going to apply a thin base layer. And then when gel is wet, then gel goes where gel is. So picking up a bead and I'm going to connect and then I'm going to lay that bead all the way down. Now this is a very big swatch stick. On a nail, you would probably not need to go back in to get a little bit more, but you're just going to apply that, that bead right down the center. And then you're going to use your detailer brush and you're going to encourage the gel to slide down and into place. What that's gonna do is leave most of the gel in the apex area, and then it will be nice and thin on your sidewalls. Now again, practice that one, but on a swatch stick, everything's trickier because we don't have a fulcrum finger to rest our fingers on, so we don't have the same you know, dexterity. Like if I was like this, it would be much easier to walk that gel where it needs to go. But isn't that just a Pretty color. Oh, really pretty. I love nougat. It's so pretty. I always think that nougat is a little more brown mm. because of the color. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Isn't that goes? Oh. Very pretty. Very pretty. Butterfly your nails today. <coughs> yes, I did have a great day. I always have a great day when I do nails. Oh, that's awesome. And then she also said that is a beautiful color. Yes. Get a grip nougat. So pretty. They're all really pretty, actually. Mm hmm. All right. Get a grip. Nudie's next. Nudie's pretty popular too. Nudie is pretty popular. Because it's more of that. Do you remember um, the Moonlight Chrome and the video that like broke the internet, <laughs> broke our website at least? Yeah. Uh, it was put over Nudie Chrome. Or it was put over <laughs> Get a Grip Nudie. Oh my goodness. So that Chrome over this just makes for a beautiful, uh, gorgeous mirror effect it is really pretty i love playing with the base colors i don't use a base color but i do think they're pretty i think they're very pretty and i think it depends on what i'm using it for you know yeah but especially like right now when get a grip clears out of stock yeah this is still get a grip it just has a little pigment in it I also really like to use Get a Grip for my glitter mixes mm -hmm. because it self levels. Like a dream? Yep. So I really like to use it so I mix my glitters with Get a Grip Glitter. So pretty. That again was a uh, nudie. Get a Grip Nudie. Beautiful color. Listen, don't look at my swatches. <laughs> You'll be able to tell which ones I did and which ones Sarah did. So this is Get a Grip Pink. This is the, after after Clear, this is probably the number one most popular, right? So Clear is the most popular. Next is Get a Grip Pink. This one, this is the one that I use when Get a Grip Clear is out. And I've used it on my clients. It's a beautiful color. I know many nail techs who use this as their 
base coat. They skip clear because they just like to have a little bit of color. So they definitely love their Get a Grip Pink. Do you know why um, colored base coats kind of get a bad rap? Um, because they have a hard time curing? Not is because, nope. It is actually because people don't remove enough to be able to see down to the natural nail. They're not thinning it out enough, and so then they're leaving behind lifting mm -hmm. and bacteria and all of that. So if you are somebody who is interested in giving colored bases a try, just remember you need to be thinning out your base coat. Even if you're leaving behind a thin layer, it just needs to be thin enough that you can see down to the natural nail to check the health of the nail, to make sure you're getting all the lifting, so on and so forth. That's a great tip. Especially like those a little bit more pigmented ones. Yep. Like Bellini's a little more yeah. pigmented. Yeah. And nudie. Move your lifting. Get a grip pink. I do want to put this one next to Cupid so that you can see uh, the difference between the tone. So is Cupid much more pink than pink is. Yeah, it is. Feels like Cupid has a little bit more pigment. Mm -hmm. to it yeah. than the pink one does. Yes. Oh, there we go. Beautiful line of light. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm impressed. Gorgeous. In that goes, please. Don't check my line, line of light, please. Thank you. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Last one here <laughs> is get a grip truffle. And this one is... This one is our right. educator, Alia. This is her favorite. She loves Luxio truffle. Yeah, she does. Again, I think that it's more brown, but it's actually not. No, it does have a pink base. Yeah. It is more tan, Yeah, but with a pink base. Hi, Nicole. Oh. How are you? Sorry, Thanks for stopping in and saying hello. Second reading comment. No, I picked up. Oh, I can see why Alia loves this. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's very pretty. My line of light is um, that of a. So let's just go straight <laughs> upside me. down. So you keep Teach trying. You keep trying to I like fix to it look. sideways. But if you just hold it upside down, it really will self-level on its own. Us trying to do this with get a grip. I mean, it helps it along, but really, even if I don't touch it, we can still correct a line of light. See. Oh, so wow. now. Up this way, then we can just encourage, encourage that gel to move back a little. Maybe this gel to move forward a little to connect this part. And then just let it do its thing. And it's almost there. You can flip them back over. So even not using this, Get a Grip really does it on its own. Fabulous. We're almost there. We have one little tiny movement right here. I think sometimes we think of like, oh, we have to keep moving it. Keep moving it. Yeah. You don't just have to. It, do it really thing. just does its thing. Get a Grip is such a gorgeous base coat to work with. And that goes, please. Thanks for fixing my line. Oh, line. you're very great. welcome. Very welcome. I hope it was helpful and that yes. people, you know, some people don't really know what they're looking for, but you're just trying to connect the gel back and forth, creating that apex, which should be in the middle of the nail plate, not the whole nail, but the middle of the nail plate. And we're just trying to create that beautiful apex upside down, just letting that gel self level. All right, in order, we have Cupid. Can you name them all? Ooh, no, because do I remember? <laughs> but we had Cupid, and I know that's Cloud. <laughs> and we Good. had, oh. Is it Peach? No. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I had a, I know it this one's. Peach. I know this one's Nougat. Oh, that's Peach. So wow. Cupid, Peach, Cloud. Here's nougat. I know that one because it's just this gorgeous. Yeah. Look, at, look at it cured. It's just so pretty. It is really pretty. So pretty. I would have lost money on that. This one was Bellini. Yep. And then this one was nudie. Yep. And this one was pink. So pink and peach and Cupid are the most popular. You can see they all just have that different tone of pinks. And then the very last one was truffle. All cured. Look at you. Beautiful. Again, all of these are available at magpiebeautyusa.com. And if you ever have any questions regarding Magpie products, please don't hesitate to contact us. 
We are always happy to help. And you can also contact any of our educators. The educators can be found on the Magpie website or inside of the Magpie app, and they are always ready to help. So I hope that you are all getting ready for the Black Friday sale. It starts this coming Thursday. And I will be back tomorrow night at 7 p.m. with another swatching party. Tomorrow night I'm going to be swatching gel polishes. And I can't wait to show you the ones I chose. So until then, have a good one. Bye. Bye.